That's right. I love it, doesn't it? Oh, it's on our shirts. That's oh, how dang we it. knew it. Ah, that's how we knew it. So, yes. we uh, did not plan the Black Shirt Friday, though it turned into yeah, we did. Black Shirt Friday. We did not. Scott's even wearing black. <laughs> really? Yeah. There was no memo. I swear there was no memo. <laughs> All right. Today here on uh, on our social media blast, platform blast, da, da, da. we're going to be talking real quickly about astrophotography. Heck Tyler yeah. has a show at uh, 4, four o'clock central time, yeah. uh, focus on astrophotography. That's why he's here. He's an experienced astrophotographer. Uh, nope. that we're on Amazon Live, which is where we're going to go live at 2 o'clock. You can join us over there. Uh, we'll post the link so you know how to get over there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go into a whole lot more detail. But we're going to yeah. start out talking about the ins and outs. I, the ins and outs, starting with the IXOS 100, and which, DSLR. which was originally designed for DSLR photography, but people started putting telescopes on it and found out it holds I mean, a it, whole bunch of weight. It can hold. Yeah. With that brand new. It can hold quite a bit. That's a brand new. That is brand new. FC100, FC ED80. That's a pretty, pretty. telescope. Woo -wee. Great glass or astrophotography. That FCD 100 glass it gives you a allowed. lot of contrast. Uh, it gives you contrast. Yeah. It also gives you the very far red and the infrared. That yeah. glass passes more red than uh, other glass. The FCD 1 glass yep. and other kinds of glass. So this is the Exos 100 with a DSLR mm -hmm. and our dovetail mount. Real simple. This mount was started out to be like this, and we had people very quickly start putting on other telescopes. And let's talk about, not yet, oh, let's talk about one. this one real quick. Ah, the beautiful one. The this little is 8640. The, we sell this as a package. The uh, First Light uh, eight, eight, 80 millimeter, 640 focal length telescope for the package with the Exos 100. That'd be good Just for like astrophotography. this. It'd be great for astrophotography. And we're going to show you how you can do this real simple. Now, Tyler, you've got a. Uh, I've got a little right? ZWO camera sitting right here. All right, so we're going to spin this around. <clears throat> and so. It is just as simple as if you want to start this way, taking that little eyepiece out, out and putting that little camera in. You're done. And then, uh, well, there's more to it. Well, you got to you got to have a cord and it goes to a computer, but right. you're done. You got to learn how to get the data out of the camera into the computer and store cord, it. And what the cords cord's for? Power cables. Yep. This and one, the, this one uh, gets powered by the cord. So at that point, then at its basic starting level, <laughs> you can real simply just tighten up the clutch. Yes, I did. I think okay. we'll find out. Nope. And there we go. So, using an iPad, I'm going to connect sure. up to the Wi-Fi, and I've already connected up. The pass password is a secret. Super. Don't tell anyone the password is secret. Super top secret. PMC-8, just like oh. it's written here on the wireless. Oh, darn. And now I'm going to launch the Explore Stars app, which is our app that will control this. Uh, soon, sometime this spring, we're going to come out with a uh, version for your Android and iPhone call it Sports Stars 2, that will work with the Bluetooth version of our Exos 100. So mm -hmm. I'm connected up now, I can test it. There it goes. So say I wanted to take a picture of the sun. I would do a two star alignment, not gonna go through that right here. Let's say, no, we don't have a solar filter, so we can't go to the sun, Tyler. Oh, we, would, we would ruin our camera. So I'm gonna catalog, you can do a we're, gonna say, we're gonna say it was at night, right? And I'm going to pick uh, Messier objects. Let's see. M1. M2. M1's up. There M1 we go. Up. So we're going to go to M1, which is Messier 1. It's the Crab Nebula. Crab. Salute to object. Salute object. Go to object. And now we're going to go to the fork, the horns of Taurus, and look at if it was outside at night. True. But it's outside, inside, in daytime. It's kind of nice. We here. couldn't see the Crab Nebula right now because no. it's up in the sun. But that's the beauty thing about a camera. A camera can see it even if our eyes can't. So we're going to go to it. Well, even in the bright sun. We're going to go yeah. to it. And with this IXOS 100 pack, package with the First Light AR 8640 telescope and an ASI. It's a ZWO 178 monochrome camera. Okay, so it's a monochrome camera. So it takes black and white pictures, right? Yes. And so now, our go-to mount has done, if we follow the protocols for drift alignment, we can get this thing perfectly aligned, <clears throat> and now it's just going to track that object across the sky. Correct. So the better your polar alignment, the better this is going to work. So this is a way to really start doing it right really well. Now, real quick, I'm going to park the telescope, go back to where it came from, and Tyler, let's switch this out and put the DSLR on the FC100. Do we have time? Mm, getting pretty close. What time is it? 
Yeah, let's. let's... Five, five. You got okay. five minutes. Okay. Uh, okay. So talk about filters real quick while I'm getting this. So thing with set. filters and doing either one shot color or monochrome, you have a wide variety. You got an Optolong filter, or which this one is the Ill Enhance. Um, <clears throat> for one shot color, it brings out your your HAs, your hydrogen alpha, your hydrogen beta, and I believe it's your O3. O3. Yes, Tri triple ionized yeah. oxygen. Correct. Okay, so I've got here's the camera adapter we have DSLR CDA. Don't know if it's uh, it's out there on the website. Um, and we're just using this Canon oh, you're EOS 5D. We're going big time. You want to go that way? Yeah. Yeah. And also, don't forget that we are having more. Yeah. See more. See more. You know. See, see more. more. Learn more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, we're going to go to Amazon Live. Correct. You should see the link. Uh, we're going to get a whole lot more detail. We're just sort of blowing through this. We've got to start at two o'clock. Here's a field flattener. Gonna What's a field flattener for? It, because the light that comes out of the back of the camera or the back of the telescope is curved, yep. the field flattener is designed to flatten it down. It doesn't make it tabletop flat, right? It simply makes it uh, re relatively yeah. flat compared relatively. to the high curve. I'm screwing that on. This turns the field flattener into a camera lens ish. And now I can simply put this into. You're forgetting one and the other extension tube. Yeah. Film the extension tubes. Well, yeah, let's put it on. Let's put them on. Show, how, we'll we'll show do how easy this is. Got it? There we go. Yeah. I don't think we... It'll come on. Nope. It's been... Uh, it's been it's tightened. Been, it's been tightened by an hour. This is tightened on here. So that... For the, shipping uh, reasons. For shipping reasons. And you don't want it coming off. So normally... <laughs> but normally, put, there's a little Allen here that just tightened to secure this collar and this collar on threads. And you literally... Just put this on. both of those two extension tubes on at the same time. Put the um, tension collar back on. And then put the tension collar back at the top. So and now we're going to imagine that our extension tubes are imagine on. Imagine the extension <laughs> tubes are on. This goes in. You tighten down the tension collars. There we go. And you're ready to go. So now you have a DSLR with a technical prime prime lens. Yep. This is the prime lens. And here we go. We're going to do this. It goes on. And just like that. And may have to adjust the knobs Here, a little bit. There we go. I can see it. Okay. Let me get this. I'll let him have at it, and I'm going to put this over here. So, so this is now, and we're going to, I would balance this and all that if we're going to really. We'll get into that on, on the Amazon live. And there we go. We've now turned the FCD100 ED80 into a photon capturing a, device. Photon capturing device with a DSLR. If you have a DSLR camera, which uh, you're ready to go yep. to start astrophotography. You don't have to buy anything else. So with that, oh, hello, Pekka. Up, how Pekka? are you? Anybody else you need a shout out? Oh, there's Daniel waving at us. There we go. The room. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Cameron Gillis Cameron. says, howdy, Tyler and Kent looking good with ES Black. Always, my mom always Harold says Block life. says, "Howdy, Tyler, Kent, and Cameron." Cameron Gillis, back at you. Uh, Pekka says a Canon 600D modified, yep. and that new ED80. What a couple they would be. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, modified. modified means. Go ahead. Tell them what that means. Uh, on a DSLR, is you're taking away the IR filter. Okay, well, what's the purpose of the infrared filter? The infrared filter, so on a normal camera, it blocks all that red. All that infrared all light. All that infrared light, the H beta, the HA. Because the sensor is it's sensitive to that. Very sensitive. And if you took pictures of it in the daytime, it looks all weird. It looks red. So you can take off that, you can't, but you can. You. I don't. I don't. You pay. You can pay, <laughs> you pay somebody to, to do it. To take that filter out, the yep. IR cut filter, and now if you take pictures in the daytime, they look real funky. They look a little red. But... If you use it at night, now that red light hits the sensor and all that red light from the nebulas, and, and, and it looks just And if you throw in filters. Pekka. Pekka, he says that your phone holster is approved and passed the test, Tyler. Good. Because it's got NASA on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying. Why? He must be able to see no. your hip. Yeah, well. Okay. But well, well, adding, yeah. Yeah. adding a adding a filter to it, that's the good thing about the field flattener that's on that camera, is it has a two inch screw on. Let's show how that works. So we're uh. gonna take it off. I'm gonna get a hold of the camera, release the tension collar, 
And see, that's the beauty part, is now I can literally thread on this Optolong L Enhance. Thank goodness it went on. We hadn't tried that before. And now, optimism. And now, this you, filter, you capture taking, more, more of that AJ data. And it gets rid of all the light pollution. Correct. Because it's taking very narrow, if, if the light was this wide, it's taking very narrow, we'll use that cuts, of, narrow. cuts of light. A little light. So all the other light is rejected. Now, this simply Correct. goes back in here. And you're done. And now, we're ready to start doing some great astrophotography. And it's about learning the process. It becomes. This is the easy part. I, I tell people they should start out with an ED80 oh, yeah. or yeah. the first light 80 because yeah. it's wide field. Correct. It's a small telescope. If you have a little bit of tracking error, a little bit of pointing error, you, error, or if you, you, polar can, line, it's a little off. you can overcome it, right? Correct. Whereas if you have a 127 or, or an 8 inch Newtonian or something, or a, Schmidt it, or a big Schmidt Cassegrain, it, the focal length is so long, it, it, the telescope are... will magnify mm -hmm. what you're trying to take pictures of. Yeah. But it'll also magnify your, every problem, your problem more than it's magnifying what you're trying to take pictures of. Correct. Cameron Gillis says he needs that field flattener. Well, we that, have a field flattener coming in. Yep. We should have them in 45-ish days. Pekka says, uh, Kent, you should always have your camera sensor pointing downwards to avoid dirt and dust falling into it. And he is correct. He is correct, but this is a... Yeah, camera. We're it's, well, that's an old. It's it's very camera. old. We're, oh. we're in a dust-free environment here in the studio. There's, no, Cameron, there's, no, there's no skin dust. There's no yeah, nothing. No sure. no dust. So Cameron Gillis. Cameron Gillis says dirty. absolutely love his new ED80 FCD100. Yep, he got this this Terry version of this Robinson telescope would two weeks love ago. To have one of those. Who would? Norm Hughes says hello. Hello, Norm. And the dad frequency he says very nice rig. It is a very nice rig, and for people who are wanting to get into it without a whole bunch of money, this is it. This is, you know, if you you can cut the cost significantly, you could buy the ES ED80 right now, the the Essential, Essential Series mm -hmm. FCD one glass. Doesn't pass as much red light through, but right now on sale for under I think a thousand dollars. Yeah. And you know we're talking about a tremendous savings right here uh, through the end of February. Uh, and Josh, that you could get into this rig right here. Uh, without the camera and everything for well, and, under two thousand dollars yeah with the filter and your own camera yep. your own dslr you get into this for under two thousand dollars sir josh kovach says kovach. hello what hello up, mr josh? kovach you know him he's working uh, on rigging up his, his yeah. zomal z130 for photography mm -hmm. while my mm -hmm. red cast 51 has to go out for repairs darn yeah. it uh, darn it red cats are good Dayton then the car says hello. Hello. Beatrice Hines. No, nice. Photon Hines. chasers. Photon chasers. See, that's a t shirt idea. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Right now. <laughs> you get Alex to make photon chaser. <laughs> She's, uh, Beatrice says that mount would be great for my William Optics Zenith Star. Zenith Star. Zenith Star. Absolutely. Star. Yes, it this, would be. This mount is great. <clears throat> you could put a 102 on here. Uh, you'd Those have to put in uh, six, six, inch. six, five, and six inch C6. Yeah, they're doing at doing lunar, uh, planetary, planetary, uh, with C6s way over the weight capacity, way over. So we don't here advocate in just that, a few but minutes. We don't advocate yep. speeding either, but uh, people do it. We don't advocate so putting over nine joke. pounds dead for dead astrophotography on here, but people do it. <laughs> I've seen 24 pounds of telescope. I know. And camera so just so on. everyone knows. Uh, in just a minute, we're going to continue this conversation on Amazon Live. If I you want to know how to, to get up. there, I can give you that in the comments. Why don't you just do that right now? Don't ask but them. I'm working on. Do it. <laughs> Hurry up. Want to break? Oh. Don't push down on the table. You'll Copy. break it. Yeah, the table is a, actually a cardboard box. Yep. Don't give away the studio secrets. That's quite a break. It's, it's a, it's a giant water square right mm -hmm. turtle from the, I'm from the rare ocean. I have to drink my gallon depths. a day. All right. All so right. we're going to go and we're going to see you at Amazon Live. Here in just a couple of minutes. What time is it? Looking for you there, About too. About six minutes. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody.